Right, morning. Hello. Oh, dirty fingers clean. Can't grip. As you mix in cream to the mixture, you are beating in air. due to popular demand, so we've really got to get cracking. Ellie's making up the buttercream. We've got to do a whisked sponge, which is going to get cooked, and that's going to come out, and then we've got to roll it. Then we're going to unroll it, put the buttercream in, roll it again, put the buttercream on top, do the sugar paste modelling, an hour and a quarter. Can we do that? Yeah. yeah. Right, the whisked sponge, we use egg whites to get the air in it. Um, so we whisk up egg whites and sugar and then we whisk up the egg yolks and some more sugar and we don't put any fat in so it's a completely fat free sponge. Shed loads of sugar so it's not low in calories but it is low in fat and it gives you a very very light sponge and then we're going to turn that into a Swiss roll. I read KitchenAid, it's called Ruby, this one hasn't got a name so we ought to christen it because you can't use KitchenAid without christening it. So what should we call it? Pink diamond. Whisk. Is it Yay! It's too fake! <laughs> you don't boy? trust me! Okay. Is and it a boy or a girl? Oh, it's a girl, it's pink. Oh, no, pink, pink panther. panther. Pink panther. <laughs> oh, yeah, alright, you are now christened Pink Panther. This one we, we, we named at the earlier session the Pink Panther because all KitchenAids have got to have the name. My red one over there is called Ruby. So we've got another red one here. I want you to think of a name for her this morning. Junior. Oh, it could be a boy. So you've got to think, sorry? Petunia. Petunia. Do you think Petunia? What do we think, Caleb? Red Robin. Red Robin. That would go, oh, we just got, could be a boy, couldn't it? Could call Robin him just Robin. Robin. Robin for Christmas. What do we think? Petunia or Robin? I'm Chris and you, Robin. So we've got a boy kitchen. Why should we have a boy kitchen? We've got boys here and we've got boy chefs, yeah? Egg, egg, egg whites in here. Whisk to soft heat so it still moves. Quarter of a teaspoon of cream tartar, whisk it back to stiff peak so it goes really hard, really, really stiff peak and it won't move. Then you add half of the sugar and it'll come back to look like shaving foam. Yeah? Swap onto that machine, so half of the sugar and five egg yolks go in there and that needs to be whisked until it goes very pale and when you put a spoon through it, it leaves this like snail trail. Mix it all in like that, just fold it. What you're trying not to is all the air that you've mixed in to the egg whites and the egg yolks is what's going to make your sponge lovely and light. So, cut it again. Pour this in here, and this will take about eight minutes to cook this tip because it's quite thin, it doesn't take long. Right, so this is yours. This is cut into three. You could do a really big one, but we've got an indentation along there to help roll it. To roll. Could you have the sugar? Yes, fold it up with the baking parchment inside. What you're going to do is once it's cooled, it will hold its shape. You unroll it and then you roll it again with the buttercream inside. Roll your Swiss roll, put it back on the baking parchment, put a dollop of buttercream on there, smooth it out so you've got a thin layer on the end that you are. Don't worry if it cracks, it doesn't matter if it cracks because you're going to cover it in the sugar paste and that seam there will go on the bottom. Just put a little bit of buttercream along the base like that, not all over, just on the bottom and stick it down and do the ends as well. So if you go wrong somewhere, it's a great opportunity to stick some sugar paste over or even put a holly leaf or something. Once you've done it, use the fork and then you can create the bark effect. Right, so to finish this off, 
we've got all these gorgeous little penguins and trees and things and I want to secure these in here. So if I put a couple on the top, I'll just turn them that way, that'd be better. A little bit of spaghetti, just remember that that's on there and um, don't eat the spaghetti and warn everybody. Squirt of raw icing to make sure. Make it snow. It's snowing. And then it's gonna snow. Yay, because it's Christmas and it's a Yule log. There we go, Christmas Yule log. <laughs>